Researchers from Tufts University say that we should embrace our nightmares because having weird dreams can actually help us cope with the stresses and strains of everyday life. And if that doesn't work, there's always tequila. Uh, <laughs> Ian, do you ever have any lockdown dreams? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I had a recurring nightmare that we did this show from your garage. How crazy is that? Back to you, Jimmy C. Right. Sorry, I don't know what's... Is, is, is that Chris Pratt? Chris, what are you doing behind Ian's desk? You're not on for, like, another ten minutes. <laughs> oh, James, you're such a joker. I'm not... I'm not Chris Pratt. I'm your trusty sidekick, Ian Carmel. I mean, did you see the mustache? <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you for saying I look like Chris Pratt, though. That guy's super hot. Chris Pratt, yeah. I wish. Okay. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I've worked for you for six and a half years. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you think I'm international movie star Chris Pratt? Oh, my God. I, 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 I can't believe I'm even engaging with this. All right, if you're Ian, if you're Ian, what's your middle name? George. Right, it's not... <laughs> nah, it's not George. It, it's a wrong question. I just realised I don't actually know Ian's middle name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he told me it was George. He he told you. Ah, uh, I told me. Look, you're derailing the show. Just keep doing your thing. I'll be over here. Okay, wait. I'm derailing the show. It's me. Okay, right. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's get back to the monologue. Okay, so researchers say that we should embrace Hi, nightmares I'm as such a good a big thing. Fan. And can you make it out to Susan? Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Of course, Thank you. Susan, you guys have been so nice. Thank oh, you good. So much. Of course. So, what, what are you what are you doing? I'm just signing an autograph for a fan. Thank you. Thank you. So, Su Susan, you want Ian's autograph? Yes. Right, uh, no, okay, this, yeah, no, 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 this is enough. No, 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 stop this right now. Stop it. Are, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, Ian. Jigs up. Dude, how did he know? I, I have no idea. Dude, I feel like I was nailing it. You were. You were absolutely nailing it. You're the mustache. This is insane. Yeah, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Explain yourselves. I was filling in for Ian so he could go watch my new movie, The Tomorrow War. I just thought he'd like it. I, I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it is, but he couldn't have waited five minutes. Well, there, there's, just, there's so much action. There's so much adventure, and people aren't going to want to wait even one minute to see it. Yeah, it's an edge-of-your-seat thrill ride, James. Yes. <laughs> yeah, James, a man is drafted to fight in a future war. Okay, fight, fight. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for you to see it, Ian, all right? But you're going to have to wait until the show is over, all right? Now, Chris, can you go back to your dressing room so we can get back on with the show? Yeah, I'm sorry. We're both sorry. Okay, we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time for this kind of foolishness. This is late night and it's serious. People rely on us for news, okay? It's a public service. Okay? So where were we? All right. <laughs> now, I don't know if you saw this. A recent survey of parents found that teenagers make for the worst backseat drivers and also the worst front seat drivers because they're teenagers. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> Reggie, you, you were pretty young when you got your driver's license, right? That's right, Jimmy C. Oh, my God. What? Okay, just let, forget this. Go to commercial. What is going on? <laughs>